I can't train my faith region. <laughs> my Civil War history class in which I am the only black person, yeah, just get ready for that, uh, said something like, so you know, I actually think like the poor white people actually had it worse than slaves. Like, hey, yo, you great? <laughs> and I would just go, I'm fine. Completely, I'm totally fine. Yeah. That's, a, that's a good workout for the jaw muscles there. You gotta enunciate through the teeth and the clenching of your jaw. Um, but, and, and really, it's not that I don't want to call things out, right? Because, you know, it's like that stuff's really hurtful and we internalize it and it stays. But, like, I just know that no matter what I say, I'm gonna get read as some irrational, angry black woman, and then everything else I say is just gonna get thrown out the window, right? Um, and that's why I respect my mom so much, um, and her wonderful, as we call it in our family, make white people feel so comfortable music. <laughs> um, she's really good at like calling you out on your shit without cursing at all. And every piece is like so subtle. So, for instance, <laughs> subtext. What the fuck? <laughs> or you don't say. <laughs> Like, I come from a long line of badass 
direct communicating black women, right? Like, like my grandma. My grandma was on one of the first black women softball leagues in the country in Texas. Like, we're called Pig Farm. She owns the house that her and my grandpa lived in. She has been fighting white patriarchy since before the word existed. no punches. So she had this phrase um, that she liked to say a lot when I was in high school and it was pretty much her response no matter what you said. <laughs> so I came over, I was like going over for Thanksgiving or something, and I'm like, hi grandma, how are you doing? She just looks at me and she goes, oh well, you know I'm fine. <laughs> I'm just waiting to die. <laughs> and I'm just like, okay. Because I don't know what to say to that. But again, this was like her catchphrase for a year. <laughs> just like anything you said. Grandma, that dress is real pretty. Oh, it don't matter what I do. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma, you know that there are zombies in your front yard about to come through the front door, right? Oh, I ain't worried about them. They're just waiting to die. They're just waiting to die. <laughs> just waiting to die. <laughs> you know, I'm just waiting to die. You know, I really appreciate her because I think she sees that something's not getting passed on from generation to generation. That's why she told my mom, you know, that is. I die. I'm gonna give you my gun. <laughs> and my mom, in absolute true form, just goes, huh. <laughs> So, test. That's exactly what I need. A 95 year old woman's unregistered weapon.